I'm Slug Christ with Awful Records. You're watching Fact TV at South by Southwest. AK with the beam on Me and Louie just made a EP together called An Appointment with Hector. And um, it's just a three song EP. We made it while we were in uh, Miami over the course of two weeks. And really, it, it's a real offset. We freestyled the damn entire EP. Uh, one of the tracks, two of the tracks are just me and Louie, then the other one is me and Louie and Rich Pistlin and Sherelle and Quince and Nar. Huge posse track. Um, probably shortly thereafter or maybe before, um, I have a, a collab EP with Little Pain called Jesus Wept. It is a, I think it's gonna end up being five songs. It's two solo songs from us and then three songs with both of us together. And then I have a collab EP with Dexter Dukeris of Awful Records. That's coming out, it's four songs. Real next level shit. Neither one of us had ever made anything like it. I, it's hard to even describe because it's just strange. We made it in a week while we were house sitting for Archibald Slim. Archie was in New York, I think, and we house sitted for him and just ended up making an EP while we were there. <laughs> and then after that, probably after all that shit drops, and after I get done doing all this shit, South by Southwest and all that, um, I'll finally finish up my album, Dropped Up. It was pretty crazy, bro. Like, a lot of the shit, like, went unexpectedly awesome, really. We went down there to play Rolling Loud, and Rolling Loud was like the biggest bust, honestly. Fuck Rolling Loud. They fucked us over. They chose to fuck over all the records out of everyone there on that stage, the outside. So, fuck all that shit. They didn't know what they were doing. It was three inches of water in the fucking venue, everywhere you walked. A few days later, Rolling Loud felt really bad about what they did to us, apparently, so they like advertised this little block party we threw and it was called fuck shit block party and really we fucking rented a truck flatbed truck parked it out in the middle of this empty lot that flatbed truck was the stage we put some speakers on that bitch we <laughs> stood up on it we were all fucked up out of our minds like i thought the entire show was like shitty like we kept fucking up like the sound was just like you know, like linked together by these little wires that were on the stage. So when people were jumping around on the stage, like the sound fucked up and everything. But uh, at the end of it all, like a few days later, people were coming up to us like, yo, we went to the block party. We had never seen anything like that or experienced anything like that. And like, they just loved the energy about it. Like, even though it didn't go like 100% according to plan, which is how everything goes with Awful. I mean, well, nothing goes 100 percent according to playing with awful and that's the way it always happened.